both estrogen and progesterone play such a significant role in the quality of our nervous system. So what that means is that the ability for us to process and manage stress from the environment, from our relationships, from our work, from exercise, all types of stress, the ability for our body to handle that stress changes as these levels of hormones change. As estrogen and progesterone ebb and flow throughout the month for actively cycling women and throughout the lifespan across different phases like perimenopause and menopause, it does have a significant impact on how our nervous system is able to regulate and manage stress. A lot of us understand the stress bucket analogy, right? Each person has a certain capacity for stress. That's their stress bucket. When the stress bucket is smaller, they have a smaller capacity for stress. When their stress bucket is bigger, they have a bigger capacity for stress, meaning that they can handle more stressors before the bucket starts to overflow and we experience symptoms. For women, this stress bucket is different sizes at different times when our hormone levels are at different states. So the stress bucket, for instance, throughout the menstrual cycle or the monthly biorhythm, starts at a very small level at our lowest hormonal level where both hormones are low. And then it increases as estrogen increases. As estrogen decreases, it decreases in size. But progesterone also has an impact on the stress bucket and can help to increase that size of stress bucket while estrogen levels are low. So it's important to know the status of both of these two key hormones.